Hello everyone, and this is BioPhoenix here, and today we're gonna do a random ass video, and that being talking about games with really weird ass names, or funny names, or just names that you'd, you'd be surprised that they actually named it that. So, yeah, not much more needed to be said here, but figured I'd do it for lols. So, anyways, let's just get right to it. So the first one we have is Hot Dog Storm. Yeah, this is a shoot 'em up called Hot Dog Storm. I guess when you have to fly around and start shooting at shit, you also have to put up with some raining hot dogs. But surprisingly, it's a pretty good game. Alright, so this one is the RPG Infinite Undiscovery. Okay, so at first glance you may be thinking, well, okay, what's so like stupid about this one? Well, think about it. Infinite Undiscovery, like, how the fuck do you undiscover something infinitely? Like, I don't fucking get it. And oh shit, the next one here is literally called, oh shit. It just goes to show you that back then, they didn't give a shit what you wanted to name your game. And the next shitty one we're taking a look at is called, shit. Yeah, just regular ass shit. I can't get any more shittier than this shit. Booby kids, like, what is wrong with you? Like, who? why would you name a game like this? Like, is, that's just wrong. And we have Universal Nuts, because nothing can be more nutty than just floating around in space. And speaking of nuts, have you ever heard of a game called Nuts and Milk? Like, whenever you guys bust a nut, did milk start coming out? Okay, that's gross. Four Man For Real, because it is for real that Four Man is real. Wait, you guys didn't know that? Okay, this is one I'm surprised they managed to get away with, but it's called Keyboard Drum Set Fucking Werewolf. Okay, well, first of all, the, the logo looks like a ripoff of, like, the Ninja Turtle uh, logo font, but then it's just, like, keyboard drum sets, and not just werewolves, but fucking werewolves. Fucking brilliant. Oh, and here's one that I reviewed many years ago called Swag Man, because it's about a guy who has swag, yo. The hilarious part is that this guy on the cover actually looks way fucking cooler than any of those swag motherfuckers I used to see in like the early 2010s when I was in high school. Those guys are nothing more than a bunch of wanksters, or if you're from Europe, they're called chavs. But I suppose that calling it chav man just doesn't sound as good, so they called it swag man. Now anyone that loves some uh, good old action RPGs should probably be familiar with the East games. Now yeah, this game always had a weird name that no one knew how to pronounce back in the day, but believe it or not, I actually found a game that is actually a clone of East that also has an equally as hard to pronounce name. It's called Zack, or Ixack, or Axak, or I have no fucking idea. But also, just even looking at like the subtitle of the first game, it's called Zack, the art of visual stage. The art of visual stage. It makes it sound like it's just a picture gallery, but no, it's an actual uh, action RPG. Even the main character in this game looks like Adol, but instead of being red, he's blue. So yeah, it totally is like an East clone. And here's another one that's hard to pronounce. It's called Zil Ol, or Oil, or whatever, I don't know. But it does look like a pretty cool RPG, and I can't wait for it to get translated someday. Alright, so we all know Parodius, right? It's a pretty good shoot 'em up series from Konami. Well, now we have Sexy Parodius, because it's the sexiest game of them all. Like, why the hell would you play regular ass Parodius when you can be a sexy man and play Sexy Parodius? It's only for sexy people only. Okay, this one may not sound so weird. It's Iron Man and Exo Man of War and Heavy Metal. Okay, well, firstly, it's a pretty long title, and also, like, okay, so it's like. Iron Man and Exo Man of War. Okay, when I first saw that name, the first thing that came to my mind was the band Man of War. But then it's like in heavy metal, like no shit. What you, you thought you were gonna be playing this game like as Iron Man, but without the iron suit? Like we're not fucking stupid. And here's one that is quick and to the point. It's called Fuck Quest. Yeah, because fuck quests. No, nah, it's actually a porn game, so of course it has to have the word fuck. You know, they could have just called it like quest to have sex or something, but no, just fuck quest. And if you thought the shovelware games on the Nintendo DS were weird, well, it definitely can't get any more weirder than touch dick. Yeah, no thanks. Or do they mean dick as in the company that used to like localize some animes in a really poorly fashion because it's spelt the same way. But still, I wouldn't even touch this game at all. 
Okay, so here's one where I actually really do love the cover art a hell lot, but for the longest time, I didn't know, like, what this title actually translates to. And you know what it translates to? Jesus, the terrifying bio monster. Okay, that right there is fucking awesome. Yeah, I don't need to say much about this. Wild Woody? Yeah, no comment needed. Fat Worm Blows a Sparky. Yeah, that's totally not dirty at all. It wouldn't surprise me if the people that named this game weren't even aware that someone could, like, make fun of it as being dirty. Next we have... Eggs of Steel. Charlie's Excellent Adventure. Okay, I actually do like the name of this one. It's very creative and funny, but it's still weird as shit, though. Okay, guys, so this next game right here is so big and so massive and so epically, like, proportionated, like, holy shit, like, it is just so, like, I just can't even believe that they named a game called this. Like, it is just so crazy. It's so crazy. And that epic name happens to belong to... Card games. Yeah, just card games. Not on motorcycles, though. Just regular-ass card games. What, you thought it was gonna be, like, even more than that? What, are you stupid? Alright, so as for the final one I'm gonna talk about here, this is a game that probably has the longest name I have ever seen in my entire life. And no, I'm actually serious this time. So, this is a PS4 game that has a name that is so long that I don't even know how to fucking, like, begin. Like, just, just look at this shit. Like, like, I'm not even joking here. Like, I'm not making this shit up. Like, this is, like, the legit title. Like, it was roughly translated. And even if it's shortened up, it still, like, looks like a fucking paragraph. Might as well read a fucking book at that point. But yeah, this is one game I've always wanted to try because it always looks fucking hilarious. It's kind of like Occupus Strip, but if it's like you just go around taking pictures and you get to make your own shit. Kind of like with Gmod. Yeah, this is basically like an anime version of Gmod. It's just fucking craziness. And that's it for my random ass video for today. I guess you can call it filler content. But hey, it's filler content that I had fun doing. So with that said, you guys can talk about more games that I didn't mention that have some really stupid or hilarious ass names and all that fun stuff. So yeah, so thanks for watching and commenting and have yourselves a great day.